Hello lovelies, Lolo Chic here with my favorite dog ever, Izzy. I've had Izzy since I was in second grade and we're sisters, so that's pretty cool. She's just chilling here. Hopefully she'll stay and like not just run out, but I have cheese, so like I think she'll stay. So, I asked you guys to DM me questions on Instagram and yeah, let's just go ahead and look. If you want to sit, that's cool too, but like, you gotta stay up here, girl. Like, you made a commitment to be on this channel today, and I'm gonna be really, really hurt if you let me down, because like, you made a sister promise. And like, that's just, you can't break a sister promise, you know what I mean? Is it weird that I talk to my dog about my day, like, every single day? I don't care if it is. <laughs> what do you like to do on your free time? Oh! <laughs> that hurt. I've always loved YouTube and stuff, but I've recently branched out a little bit. A lot, actually. A lot of it. Um, I recently signed up to run a half marathon, which sounds crazy. And why, you ask? Why, Lauren, would you ever want to do something like that? And you know what? I never would want to do anything like that, but the Team World Vision goes to Africa and builds wells that provide clean water for communities, and so, like, right when I heard that, I knew that that was what God was calling me to do. <laughs> it's been super motivating to just be doing that and just to have that in mind to know that, like, helping change lives and you can help change lives too. <laughs> I have a fundraising page if you guys want to check it out. $50 provides clean water for one person for life. If you feel like you want to donate and make a difference, you could save a life, which is awesome. So I will put my fundraising link down below. It's through World Vision and it goes directly to the funding for the will, so like, I'm getting nothing out of that. It's it's just because I care about the clean water and like, and since signing up for that, I have decided that I wanna do like everything that I've always wanted to do, so I'm taking ballet classes. <laughs> Cause I've been watching Dance Moms and I really wanna be a ballerina, so. <laughs> do you still have insecurities? Yes. Overall, I, I really do feel so much more confident in myself and with my body than I ever have before, but I totally have moments of weakness and I totally have insecurities. We just focus on the bad things, that we, bad things that we see, like I was focusing on my cellulite or my stretch marks and that's so, like I'm so much more than that. It's not about not having your insecurities anymore, it's about not letting them control you. It's like, of course I have days when I feel insecure, of course. You know, like when it's, uh, when my inner critic is telling me like, oh my gosh, no, you can see your cellulite, or no, you can see your stretch marks, that kind of thing. And then when I have those thoughts, I just remind myself I'm beautiful. I am made in the image of God, and I am so much more than little stretch marks on my thighs. Like, really does not matter. <laughs> so that's a little something that I've learned in my 15 years on this earth. <laughs> what was your favorite childhood movie? Well, I watched Sky High last night, which it was one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm obsessed with it, and it's still, like, I still love it as much as I did when I was a kid. Netflix has recently put on so many good movies, so I watched the Lizzie McGuire movie, the Hannah Montana movie, Sky High, um, I used to love the Bratz movie, like the real one, not the cartoon one, that was one of my favorites, um, A Cinderella Story, I watched that one too, so it's kind of been a throwback week for me, and those are all my, like, top movies from when I was a kid. What color underwear are you wearing at the moment? Um, excuse me, that is personal information? <clears throat> What's the hardest part of high school so far? I put a lot of pressure on myself academically and so that's probably the hardest part because I have really really high expectations of myself and 
then I get really stressed and so then I don't do as well and so I have these high expectations that cause me to do not as well. So it's really just not a good thing. Crunchy or creamy peanut butter. See, I go through phases. Um, I went through a crunchy phase for a while, like a year ago, but now I'm, I've like been creamy most of my life. <laughs> What's an embarrassing secret you have? Well, I like to make acapellas. <laughs> And I don't mean like the good acapellas where you see these people doing like five part harmonies that you didn't even know were possible and it's really cool. I'm talking about the terrible, annoying, embarrassing ones that I won't put in this video because they are blackmail material. Um, but I think they're really fun. <laughs> And so I do them for my own enjoyment. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you for asking me questions for those of you who did. I hope you guys know how valuable you are, how much worth you have. I say that in a lot of my videos because I really truly think that people need to hear that more. And I think that you should tell yourself that right now. That I am beautiful and wonderful and valuable. I truly believe that and I hope that you truly believe that too. Thanks for watching guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Is he saying bye? Bye! Bye! <laughs> you wanna chill? You wanna hang out? You can watch a movie. She's too fat. She can't get up. I told her that I loved her. Was not sure if she heard. The roof was pretty windy and she didn't say a word.